Fort Wayne police are looking for a person of interest in connection with the woman who was found dead behind Chapel Oaks apartments last night. And police are also asking for the public's help. Wayne 15's Angelica Robinson is live where police had a building surrounded for a while. Angelica, what's going on at the scene now? We're standing at Green Street and Bowser Avenue, really in the center of it all, and we've just received word that the man that police are looking for, Leon Lumpkin, 26-year-old Leon Lumpkin, was not in the apartment building. Just to give you an idea of the police presence here, a lot of them have left. There were more than a dozen police cars stationed over here, and the focal point of it all was at the Villages of Hannah Apartments, that apartment 2A. They believe that Leon Lumpkin was barricaded inside of that apartment building. Building. Police are still looking for him. They made entry into the apartment and they said that he was not present. This is all in connection to a homicide investigation from overnight. A woman was found dead at Chapel Oaks Apartments in the 800 block of Buchanan Street. Police believe she was killed after a robbery there. We don't know the woman's identity yet, but police say she was a young mother. We've got an individual that if responsible for the death of a young mother, uh, it was an act that was cold-blooded and um, for no good reason. Uh, we've got a young lady, a young mother that is deceased. And so, yeah, we want this person. Tips from that homicide investigation led police to the villages of Hannah Apartments here. There's been a heavy police presence since about 9.30 this morning. Negotiators were on scene calling for Leon Lumpkin to come out, but we've learned that he was not inside at that time. So police are still looking for him. And just to give you an idea, this is a picture of him. 26-year-old Leon Lumpkin, they say that he has a distinct tattoo on the middle of his neck that reads Libra. So we will continue to follow this. You can see this picture on our website, Wayne.com, and we'll bring you the la latest updates on this as they become available. For now, reporting live, Angelica Robinson, Wayne 15 News.